All right, someone wants me to play Save the World something. Save the World Summers. Save the World. How to Ruin Your Lives. Jesus Christ. What kind of... Oh, oh my God. Look at that thumbnail. A boom. I don't want to get demonetized. A boom. And ugly. That's, that's just a terrible disc. God damn. Like, these are artists making... Uh, not visual like like uh audio tracks and you're calling him ugly like that's that's not ruining your life god if you stopped watching ice spice try not to nut compilations from yo pause that it's hitting on mute real quick let's just let's just stay here for another couple seconds long okay. enough and went to go pick up a dictionary and you looked up the phrase wasted potential this picture oh would my god they're going in bro i feel like all of them are up at this point they're making good money at least 5 10k a month probably more with their distro deals and publishing so if you're doing that like it's not wasted potential man and also the plug and b sound i told y'all yes uzi went mainstream with it because it wasn't really a plug and be track. It was like a popular leak or snippet or whatever it was. Watch that. I think it actually leaked. It was a snippet for a while though, until it recently leaked in the past couple of years, I want to say. But, but yeah, plug and be is just not like, like when I play with my girl or like anyone who's around me and I don't have friends who like listen to this type of music, this niche, they're always like, oh, that's too off beat or whatever. That's just like the plug sound though. Um, so, so yeah, it's not wasted potential because honestly, if you expected Plug and B to go crazy numbers wise, mainstream, it just was never happening. Be right above it. Somehow, the people who are most influential to the underground now managed to catastrophically destroy their entire career and reputations in the. This is so hard. Process. Save the world. What are you talking about, bro? They, they, they all have songs with 100K and they have 300K followers on Instagram. Yeah, that's cool and all. Individually, they have decent careers. They make enough money to keep buying drugs and rent the occasional Airbnb. But back in 2019 and 2020, the Slay World group, the occasional Airbnb, they had amazing potential. Their sound was completely different than anything, not only in the underground, but for them but also definitely anything in the mainstream and now they're like this yeah, I hate all women. Uh, so how that's the one clip that's going viral on twitter it is a crazy bar i'm not gonna lie i fucking hate all women yeah Bro was on his Andrew Tate timing. Come Slay World in spectacular fashion, ruined their careers and reputation, and managed to completely squander all their potential. Throughout history, people have made amazing contributions to the world. Unfortunately, they get their ideas stolen and someone else gets the credit. But I've never seen someone get the credit, but still get their ideas stolen and all of its benefits taken away from them. Slay World had a very unique sound from- Who stole it? Is he going to say yeet? I feel like he's not even on that sound. Plug and B to these dark synth trap beats. Like they were making hard shit and it was different than anything out. But I guess everyone in the group is like mentally challenged because they just let everyone steal their sound and did not market them who? themselves to a new audience at all. Like from 2018 from 2020, their whole game plan was just to upload music and see if people found it. And the result is that now we have all these kids that sound like a de-evolved version of summers or can but you might be asking i feel like he's also looking in the wrong places because yes i do know that there's a lot of plug and b artists but at the same time i don't know if plug and b as a, is as hot as it was back in those days like i know there's a faction of the underground that's going crazy with it i think a uh, little shine right I, I could be his name is something shine and i liked his songs but he's there's only a couple of them are still doing that sound so i don't know if what he's saying is justified how come during this two-year period they didn't really try to capitalize on their success oh my god they have more allegations than they do songs now before 
Oh my God. Before they see this video and try to sue me, because that has already happened once, these are all just allegations. They're from this guy? What did they say? They try to sue me because... Summers tried to sue him? Oh my... This is, again, this is why as a YouTuber, you always say allegedly. That has already happened once. These are all just allegations, and I'm bringing them up for educational purposes. I have multiple videos about these allegations where I speak about them in detail, but just to quickly go over them, Can Can went Gervonta Davis on his girlfriend. Isaiah allegedly knocked up a 16-year-old girl. And Summers... Uh, but thing is, technically in Georgia, I'm not trying to justify anything here, but I'm just saying, like, technically at 16, you you know, you you do have that's the age of consent. And depending on the age, like if, if you're like 17 or if you're 18, even that's pushing the boundaries like 18, 16. There's definitely a maturity gap, but like it's still that's just like high school senior and high school sophomore. You know what I mean? Actually, now that I remember it, there's a clip on this channel where Autumn says, and I quote, everyone has that one friend that sleeps with 16 year olds. So stop making it a big deal. Nigga, that sh Yeah, that's whack. You got to cut them off expeditiously it is not normal slay world currently holds the record for beefing about the dumbest most brain dead things Ugh. i don't like summers because he lets his friends wear his clothes girl i tried to help ye blow up and he actually blew up now i'm mad i don't really know what's going on i'm crazy somebody <laughs> help at one point and i'm not making this up jason that violated in summers were arguing about summer shitting on the toilet jesus christ dude like really who gives a fuck if you're a new underground fan trying to blow up off of this i hope you got a job application because that shit is not gonna happen i suggest that if you're an artist or any creative you get a job and this is coming from someone who has a job too like just because the creative shit doesn't even take that long like okay you make a song maybe you took a couple hours to do it one night but like for the rest of the day like you're just gonna be bored getting into trouble but if you, and then you had an extra income stream that like it's a long term thing, you build your career by the end, like while you're 50 years old, you're going to have at least 100K coming in per year. I would hope I would hope that might be asking for too much for some people. But, you know, and then and you can still make music on the side, but not everybody wants to be a degenerate. I swear to God. Is that it? He just ended the video. That was it. He's just like, yeah, everybody get a job if you're trying to be Slay World. Crazy. The Oh, he, he made one on Summers Strictly. Let's see. Summers, that's an oh my God. He's about to go in on Summers, isn't he? Summers is definitely top five artists that you need to turn off as soon as they. Oh, I thought he was going to say top five artists that you need to check out or top five artists in the underground, underground, like, you know, up new generation. But nah, come on. Summers, despite making the same three songs over and over again, has somehow managed to get worse at it. Like, I don't know how he did it. Summers has three personalities. I'm sad and I'm on drugs. I'm angry and I'm on drugs. And how the fuck am I going to make rent this time? A few months ago, I was kind of dick. Nah, 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 nah. He makes money. He just bought a Maybach. He's got a $10,000 light bill, bro. He ain't worried about rent. I think he owns his... He's got a mortgage payment on can for making the same song over and over again. But I've kind of realized that doesn't really make you bad. Like all can did was just claim a certain style. So his fans know what they're going to get. And if you like that type of music, you like that type of music. But with Summers, it's weird because Summer maybe that's why Summers gets so much more hate than can can because when you're like experimenting with new sounds, you're going to quote unquote miss from time to time at least with your fan base or audience that's listening to your, your to your music whereas can can like yeah you might get some comments like yo i feel like i heard this song a million times already but i don't know the, your core fan base is always going to be satisfied if they you know if they like that sound
Summers is literally getting worse at his best material. And when he tries to experiment, I, I don't think he understands that there's more to the song than the beat. Like changing up the beat and having the same flow is not cool. This whole album is like songs that you get hyped to for 20 minutes, you keep replaying the song, and then the next day you forget he even dropped the album. Now, I do understand Summers has been going through some mental problems. This is not really related to the album or anything, but I just had like this funny thought. What if constantly doing drugs flirting with minors and constantly falling out with your internet buddies what if that has like like i don't know some sort of negative effect on your mental health and now this album is horrible but it's not the worst thing i've ever heard like you can still listen to these yeah it's it's not a bad album i just think it's the definition of mid in that it was not very good i could see people listening to it but personally it, it had nothing that stood out to me as like a song that i want to replay later now with his mental health, I truly feel like his mental health has to do with his career in that, you know, the whole backlash th or not the, the mid comments and whatnot. He just needs to stop reading comments. That's literally the mental health crisis for every creator. Just stop reading comments or realize that no matter what you do, somebody's going to hate you for no reason songs and like them but if you've actually been a reno fan for a while and you know what he can do this is kind of like disappointing i think we've gotten to the point where they just produce music to make money to buy drugs and then when they spend all their money they just i feel like that is what rappers do bro it's like a endless lick at least when you're hot like every time every album you turn in you get a quick little advance and like that's it's like a that is a business bro what do you do when you have clients and you're like a freelancer or you're in a company or a salesman? You make money every single sale. Same shit with albums. You, you submit the album, you get some money up front, and then once you pay it back, you get a little royalty on the side. So he's not wrong, but I feel like that's just the music business. They're like, oh shit. And then they have to produce another fucking shitty EP so they can make more money and then buy more drugs. And then they can go, oh shit. And then they can... I do think that the the drug use is is crazy. Like just buying lean is ridiculous because you can get and I'm not condoning any drugs here, kids, but you can literally get the same effect of perks. Yeah, it might not be as cool, but like you can get a perk for like what 10, 10 bucks. I don't even buy perks because I feel like I just always have bottle. If I really want to take a perk, I've got like a bunch of prescription bottles from past surgeries or like friends, moms. My mom even gave me a bottle. Uh, just I don't even know why, but um, yeah, you can just do a perk and it's so much less expensive than a fucking fourth. I don't even know how much a lean bottle is. Everybody was getting on me at the when I was talking about the five hour energy lean from Summers. How was I supposed to know that you? That's how you bring it past tsa in the airport you put the lean in the five hour energy bottles because it's less than three ounces or something it's 2.9 ounces and so like it just gets back ba past security like i i don't know anything but lean i know for a fact if it's 2000 4000 whatever it is that's gonna last what like a couple days a week especially if you're if you're sharing it maybe a couple days less than that a day if you're sharing it with your boys that's what I would never that, that's an expensive ass addiction. That's probably the most expensive one I could ever see or, or imagine. That's it. That's it. Less than a week. That's crazy.